is our Stanwood ball winder, yarn ball winder. It's the large one, so it does up to 10 ounces, which is pretty much something close to two balls of yarn or a regular, like those big um, Super Saver Red Hearts, it'll at least do one of those or one and a half. So it's really big. It basically will make a yarn cake as big as this base, which I've never done because all my balls are pretty much 100 grams. So um, how you do it, first you get your yarn ready. So find the center of your, or find the little piece that they throw in the middle and wrap that around the outside just loosely because you don't want it tangling up your yarn and then I wrap it around. Then you have to find the center of your yarn, same as usual. So fingers crossed. Okay, that worked out. And then usually I keep, I open a drawer at the bottom of my desk and I just throw the ball of yarn in the drawer and gravity uh, holds it down and it goes really, really quick. But you can't see the ball of yarn in the video, so I'm just going to keep it on my desk for now. So you wind it through this back feed here, and then there's another orbital arm here. You wind it through this one. I haven't found a particular uh, like right way or wrong way. I just put it through this one first and this one second. And then there's two little slits at the top of this cone. So you just take your yarn and pull it down into those two slits. So that holds the tail up. And I, use, I leave about a one inch tail. I don't leave too much or it gets stuck down inside your, like underneath all of the ball and you can't really find it. So just like an inch or so. Some people put a knot so it doesn't pull through, but I found with this one I've never needed to put a knot. I just leave a tail about an inch and pull it down through on both sides and you're good to go. Get your yarn with the, with the end where the yarn's coming from facing your ball winder and I hold the yarn up with my hand. I hold it so I can feel if there's any knots. If there's any knots or snags or joins or we anything weird, I can stop and um, either fix it or cut the yarn and start a new yarn cake. So you just start kind of slow to get it going. And then you can go as fast as your arm will do. have holes in it, if you can see it, how it starts getting loopy, lacy, that's when I slow down. A bit. Look at that. That was a perfect skein. So I just finished wrapping it around. I keep a little crochet hook by my ball winder. It's a three millimeter, but any small hook is fine. And I just poke the tail through the outside so it holds it in place. I pull the tail off the top and hold it down so the tail is still coming up. And I grab the yarn cake, pull it off of the cone, and just poke the end into the center. So it's still loose. I know where to start my yarn. And there's your cute little yarn cake. So this will sit beside you as you do your crochet or knitting. And it doesn't roll around. You pretty much just pull straight from the center. And it comes out just basically perfectly. You can also go from the outside of the ball. So if I'm going to be using the whole, the whole ball, I do from the center. If I'm just using a little bit of it, I go from the outside. So that keeps your yarn cake um, from getting loopy and lacy, which I can show you actually. So this one I've been using for my temperature blanket. 
and you can see it's gone kind of flat. So if I was going to keep this in storage for a long time, I would rewind it to get it back into a nice firm cake. So there you have it. This is the Stanwood. Highly recommend. It's great. And it makes really um, dense cakes. The cakes are really, really nice. I, I have another smaller one, and this one makes better cakes. Obviously, it's like three times the price. Yeah, so it should do something better, and it really does. So worth the investment. Love, love, love. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned something about yarn caking. Um, I love my yarn cakes. Now I can't start any projects with it. I have to cake all my yarn first. So once you have one, you won't be going back. They're fantastic. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay hooked.